one and only big H. Yes, another small one. Hey babies and how are you all doing? Welcome back guys, welcome back to sale with Mimi Shosley, Mimi where you get a gist. I see the heart. Meanwhile guys, talking about big H, people are trying to trend that there is a thing going on with Femi and um, Handy. You know, um, the last time we saw them together, we all know how the story started. We all know how everything started, how Femi told Handy, when you leave the house, look for me, make sure you find me. And later on, we also noticed that when Handy came out of the house, Femi went to go see her. And then during their party, they were actually, you know, together, kind of. And now coming for this BB show, they are kind of together. That is um, last night um, finale. So people feel like, what is going on? Is something really going on here? But I don't know if something is going on. But the last time I checked, I think Handy in the house said, um, Femi is not really her kind of thing, right? I, if I'm not mistaken, though. Any which ways, whichever thing it is, we are on this post show to see everything. Nothing is hidden under the sun, you know. Meanwhile, congratulations to Handy because she won something. That's why she wasn't in the house. You know, she did win something. Um, The lost hair, one of the categories she won, herself and her sister. It was three different categories. Kelly Ray won one. And then, and what's her name? Wani and Handy won the two different category like i was so happy to hear handy one because she was not even in the house and then she won herself that one any which ways guys those pictures are some of the pictures of your faves the outfits they wore to the finale to crown kelly ray the winner now um this is coming from sean okoji i am not here to fit in i am here to stand out others call it steez i call it me ah this one busts my bubbles he said Others call it steez, but he calls it what me. He choke. <laughs> I feel that right up there, I'm not gonna lie. And then someone says, Nikini, why you look like first day of period Wahala? Yo, you guys are not nice sometimes. Okay, let me read this one from um Russian. I hope this will be better. Love this attitude. Embracing individuality is key, and Sean's confidence shines true. Definitely stand out in the best way. Absolutely love this. Sean's authenticity and confidence are inspiring. Standing out is the way to go. And that's on period, but it's still the right up for me. Like, I love what he wrote there. Like, you know, especially with the thing he did with the tease. That people call it tease, but he calls it me. Okay. Chingwe posted this one with her own outfit. She says, Why fit into society mode when you, you were born to break it? Chin with Elibel the star. Hmm. This one is deep. Guys, do not worry. From today, you'll be seeing this scene. Just make sure you have subscribed to this channel. I am lamenting this and I'm ringing it like a bell. It get a why. Okay. And Chinwe also posted and said Zimwe. It was a video of himself and Zion together. You know, not after she has actually made people rejoice that herself and Zion, you know, are no longer together. And then she came again to showcase you guys that herself and a man, they've pinned their full grand, they break it in. Okay, that being said, guys, of course, you all know the season that we are in. It's the season of um, Kelly Ray, the winner of No Lose Get season. And I told you guys about how there have been so many notion. But you see, this particular one got me. It has happened in various seasons. Each season anybody win, there's going to be a narrative for that person. Oh, now because of this thing, make can win. Oh, it's because of this thing that made this person win. They would actually create a narrative to suit the person's win. Any, um, what was it called? Any housemates that won, people felt like it's not by merit. They would actually cook up things. And those, those are going to be coming from people who do not want to see them win. I'm not going to lie to you guys. What I am seeing on Kelly Ray that is coming off as drag, though they are coming off in a different way, you know, it's something that is actually not cool to see. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to be seeing them right here. But first off, let me read this one. From Precious Preshi, Afe, Pity Winner, Miracle, Grace Winner, Mercy, One, because Tatcha got disqualified, Lacon, Pity, One, because of Background, White Money, Cooking Winner, Fina, Raz Winner, Ilebaye, Ariza, Pity Winner, Kelly, Boring Winner, One, because he is married. We need to do better as fans. And I think so too. 
You see the reason he just gave, that is the reason each of the winner has gotten each season, ranging from Efe, the uh, Sigo Bay season in 2017, to this season, that is 2024, how many years ago and now, people would always give a reason why this person won. They, they feel like it's not by merit. They, they want to give a title to the reason why such person deserve the kind of fan they got. They feel like the person is not deserving of their fan base. And now they are making it trend on Kelly Ray's name. They are saying, oh, he's not a deserving winner. See the people that are trending. He is not trending. See what is going on. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, yo guys, come on. Do not be a sadist. Do not let this show make you be a sadist. Like, do not be a hater of good things. It's really not cool. Now, there is this thing going on that I do not like. Let's say this. So, this one coming from the curious Kimmy says, It's not actually about who wins the money, but who wins in the outside. I know a lot of housemates doing better than the winners of their season. So, housemates get to work and win in real life. In as much as I don't like seeing this kind of thing I just read right here, I, I I'll just take it as just an advice to other housemates so as they won't feel down because they did not win. But you see this one right here that she wrote here. Let me read it out. It says, Kelly Ray Music Care, better perish that idea. Oh, BBN children don't do well in that domain unless you want to be another Ife. Where is this coming from you know the housemates had their last diary session before the season was over and biggie asked them what they would want to do with their money and kelly ray actually said he's somebody that is quite lavish with money but he's trying to learn to invest and things like that and he said he's gonna actually put more in his music because people have a, no a notion that anybody that comes to this show do not actually, you know, get to win when it comes to music that their music is always, you know, blah, blah, blah like it's nothing so he said he's going to prove people wrong that he can actually, you know, make it happen. That he's going to be the first married man that actually got to the finale like this and win. And then he's going to be that man that would also make it through the music industry. Because people, that is to change the narrative people have about winners or people trying to invest in music that it doesn't work. Now guess what? People have started calling him out. They are telling him on how to use the money. Mm, that's what people are doing funny right that exactly this is no joke guys like they are calling him out to tell him ah make sure you give your wife okay let me read this this one says i strongly believe wani would do well after after than kelly ray if it is singing kelly ray should ask v sola if a v Lacon and white money just see the words people are using for someone you're saying wani would do better than Kelly Ray, where did this comparison come from for crying out loud? Now, the one that even got to me was Jenny O publicly coming out to say, Kelly Ray, I beg if you win this game, hey God, please invest it in your wife and her talent and not music, I beg. Do you know what people do? They say things wow. They say things chaotically. You don't even care how things like this come across to the person you're directing it to. You don't even care how the thing might rub off to the person. All you want to do is to make sure that you, you're talking. You want to act like you're talking. You want to say you get mouth. And this is really so unfair. And seeing Jenny O come out to say things like this, like just say it out, pouring it out there. As if his dreams and aspiration is not valid. Is, the, is you telling him, actually put invest it in your wife for me? What audacity? You they tell him, wait till go use the money, do. Hmm, now wow. These kind of things I never see before. But somebody replied and says, and what's your business with that? Why you know winning your season so you can spend your own money how you want? This other person says, and what's your business? Jenny, mind your effing business. You failed to win your season so you have absolutely no opinion with winners darling the f you know so they were really dragging her guys like no cap serious dragging so we're telling her that you're not even up to top 20 during your season <laughs> and guess what she was even engaging those pe people that were saying that like she was replying them to me i think all of this thing is uncalled for like coming out to let the winner at like it's not cool to me he has his dreams He's also a Baba, do not forget that. So he's somebody that is actually, you know, talented. I think he's somebody that can, he's, he's hardworking. He's going to fix his money the right way. You don't need to tell him what to do. You don't need to tell him what to do. So somebody replied to her and said, what do you don't achieve since? And then she replied and says, Chai, 
I am not one to brag, but a lot, my darling. Guys, this thing I am telling you guys is not child's play. People are trending this thing on a social space. It's just like a call out on Kelly Ray. If he gets hold of his phone, he's going to be seeing so many notions on this one. Like people saying a whole lot about how he should not use the money for music. He should not go and waste his money at all. So Creamy says, at least White Money and Ife won't be the only failed artists that won. Wahala. Hey, yeah, yeah. They have passed the baton to another totally failed artist. This time around, the worst ever. Now him fans, I pity pass. Then go because of stanship, they listen to rubbish. Hey, yeah. You know, the thing is, I think some people are also the problem. Because you see these people who have nice voice, they are singing and everything. Yes, the industry might be so deep, it's far from how we see it. That is why sometimes some of these people do not excel in the music industry. But there is something you should know is on this house, mate, is their voice. Kelly Ray sang in that house. He has a cute voice. He has a nice voice. I have listened to his music. They are cool. They are nice. You come in to make it look like he doesn't have a good voice. It's, it's, it's actually not cool. But guys, it's been trending on the social space. They are calling out on your faith. They felt like he's going to... He's going to use the money for something that would not benefit him. Are you a Kelly Ray stan or a normal stan? Do you also buy this notion that people are doing on the social space, dragging Kelly Ray, calling him out to not use the money for music? Do you also buy that idea? If yes, let me know why. If no, also let me know why. Are you a Kelly Ray stan? What is your take on this one? Because I would really, really love to know as I drop my voice right here. Kindly let me know what you think about all of this one in the comment section. And please, while you get here, do not forget to subscribe and make sure your notification bell is steadily on. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.